Hey guys, it's Pat from GoneGoogling.com. Um, I'm going to give you guys a look today at uh, my three favorite launchers. I've got Launcher Pro Plus, uh, ADWX, and Go Launcher X. And I figured, you know, these are three probably the most big name launchers available, and I'm sure that a lot of you are wondering what the differences are, and you know, what the positives and benefits of each are. I have bought uh, Launcher Pro Plus and ADWX. And Go Launcher X is actually free, and it's just as full featured, actually. But um, so you will see the full version of all three launchers, and hopefully, I can help you make a sound decision in which you use. So first, what we're going to use is Launcher Pro, um, right there. Um, this is a great launcher. It's really, it's really smooth. It was the first one I bought, um, and. I've always loved it. It's really, really simple and smooth and um, clean, very clean looking. Um, I think it was one of the first, actually. But um, as you can see, you, you have plenty of room for apps. You, you start with three uh, home screens with this one, but you can edit that. And you click your app drawer, and it's that looks choppy. That's just the camera. It looks better on my phone. But um, so putting an app on your home screen is really easy, you just, you know, hold, drop, and you can also add shortcuts down there, um, by just clicking the plus, finding, you know, what you wanted it to be, if you want it to be a not normal application, like, uh, something like messaging your camera, you can just go there, and then you have a list of every single application installed, and you can make a shortcut for any of them, like, uh, Twitter, and we just added fall down on Twitter, so we have Twitter right there, so now we're right here, we want to go to Twitter, we can just do that. Um, and that's really nice. You can customize all of these icons as well. And if we go to messaging here, we can um, change the icon. We can use a Launcher Pro icon and change it to, I don't know, well, I mean, I'm not going to change it to, like, camera, but, well, alright. So, yeah, there, if this stupid flip could focus, you would see you can change that very easily. You can also, um, it's really cool, they have, an, uh, Launcher Pro has incorporated a really nice, um, uh, theming menu, and that works very nicely, because you can just download icon packs from the market, and, or third-party apps, and, or, or from websites, and you can very easily customize your whole thing. And, actually, it looks like the flip's about to die, but... I will be right back and I will show you ADW Launcher X as soon as I get some more batteries. So, okay, we're back. Um, so, yeah, on to ADW. Uh, by the way, yeah, actually, first I'll show you. Launcher Pro does have effects. They're not the best, though. I'm a big fan of effects. I'll show you that one. Flip 2. Launcher Pro. It, uh turns it in, and if I had more icons, you could see it better, but, um, it's nice, but, I don't know, not, not nice enough. So here's ADW Launcher. Um, ADW Launcher is, n it's much more, let me adjust that, ADW Launcher, sorry about the notification, um, it's much more, uh, complex, it's not really necessarily beginner-friendly, I'll say, um, there are a lot more features and things, it has much better effects, as you can see, and you can randomize the order that they go in, and, uh, let me try and get my favorite one, let's see, um, where is it, well, it's really cool, because the icons spin together, um, but, so, anyways, lots of, a lot more to do, like, um, I can hold that, and I get a cool menu, kind of like, uh, the Google Music menu, I can drag things directly on and off of that, and, uh, I can, uh, go to edit that application, I can change the name displayed, I can change the icon displayed, um, I'll show you better, change the name, change the icon, change the app that it even launches, uh, so you can really, really, really thoroughly customize this, um, <clears throat> much more than, uh, Launcher Pro, but to me, it didn't seem quite as, uh, smooth, I've been using it for a while just because, um, 
I mean, I wanted to try it out. Um, by default, there's horizontal scrolling. Uh, three apps, which is not a problem. You get used to it very quickly. And it's just as easy to drag an app onto your home screen. Um, but the only thing I had uh, wrong to say with it is that it just seemed like it was... They were so... There was no help, really. It was kind of like... If you don't have an hour to sit down and play with it, then it's not for you. And not everyone has just an hour to play with a launcher. Uh, there's just so many settings and menus and stuff, and you go through presets, you go through, I mean, you know, user interface settings where you have icons, main dock, screen preferences, drawer settings, hidden dock bar, and they don't even really explain what some of those things are. You have to play with them and figure out what they change. Um, like gestures, system preferences, animation and effects, uh, then you have themes, and ADW is actually pretty famous for its themes. Um... <coughs> Uh, you can just download themes and apply them from the market. It's really simple. Um, but yeah, I don't have any installed right now. But um, so yeah, that's ADW. It's not a whole lot different from Launcher Pro. Actually, none of the launchers are a whole lot different from each other. It's kind of just like the extra features that they pack in. But so, scrolling, very smooth. It's You can make it look clean. I don't think it looks too clean right when you get it. But uh, that can be, you know, changed. Um... So now, how about we jump to Go Launcher X, which is actually my personal favorite now. Uh, Go Launcher is a lot different from, I'm sure, anything that you're used to. It's actually, in my opinion, it's kind of closer to. It, it feels almost like MUI. If you've ever, or, sorry, my UI, as we now know it's pronounced. Um, it, it just, it's not. It doesn't feel typical for Android. Um, the effects are great, like, look at that, that's enough to sell you right there, but it's a, you know, free app anyway, so, <laughs> shouldn't even take that much. Um, it has just about as many features as anything else, it changes your little settings thing. Um, you go to preferences, and once again, another gripe, you have so many settings, and there's not a whole lot of, like, what this does. It's simpler than ADW, but in my opinion it still has more than ADW. They they just... The way that they do it, it's really cool. Um, it also has themes, theme support. Uh, you can just download those again from the market or from the... the uh, it comes with, like, the Go Store, and you can download themes from the Go Store, and that's where the people, the same people that made this, the Go for Android team, they've also made some themes, like, professionally done. Those cost a little bit of money, but the app is free, but there's plenty of free themes. Um out there. Um, you can, it's nice, all of these actually, not just Go Launchers, you can back up your home screen. So say if you, uh, if you're a ROM flasher, like you, you know, you gotta wipe your data and cache a lot, you can back up your, uh, home screen settings and then just restore them when you, uh, are done flashing your new ROM. So it's, cause that always bugged me so much when I'd finally fill out a home screen and then like, you know, I decide I want to go to sign my nightlies or something and then I would lose all my home screen stuff like widgets and stuff. So you can back up like widget placement and and all that. Um, another nice thing about Go Launcher is that um, <clears throat> they have like this built in notification system. So like if I've got a new text, it'll tell me right there. It'll have like a one and it'll do the same thing for Facebook if I've got any notifications and Gmail if I've got any new uh, emails to read. And that's really kind of nice. And it also, it comes uh, with like some suggested widgets. You have to download them, it doesn't come with the widgets, but it'll like have like an image here, and this is actually a really nice Twitter widget that they packaged in. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you can just refresh right there, and um, it will, you know, you can compose a tweet, uh, checklists and stuff. It's really, it's really nice. Um, actually, and they have lots of uh, add-ons that you can download and all that. Um, and they've also got this nice power control widget that uh, uh, the flip will never ever show you because it just does not like to focus on the screen. Actually, it doesn't like to focus at all. It has no autofocus. But um, that's basically like the normal one, except for if you click that dot 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 button, you have the rest of your settings. And this is what really reminds me of you. It just I've ever you've used my UI. Um, you know that you can uh, swipe right, swipe to the left, I guess. Um, on your notification bar, and you have this, 
and I love that, but then, uh, I'm not running MIUI right now, my UI, I gotta remember to say it so I don't offend anyone, but, um, that's really cool, you can change, like, media volume there, without actually opening up an app that blasts it at a bad time, and also you can change your ringer volume, um, silence it, max, you can change the screen timeout even, this button you can't see, but I'm changing the screen timeout, can just go ahead and lock the screen like that. Uh, I guess I have to activate it, let it allow it to. But then, um, I mean, that's not that useful. Just <laughs> locking the screen without pressing the power button. I guess if you broke your power button, you could do that. But um, so yeah, these are all the launchers. And the one thing I don't really like too much about a uh, Go launcher is that if I click here to um, put an app on the home screen, it's kind of like it's awkward. Um, like Skype here. Hold down Skype and then you can rearrange things like in the app drawer which I was at first like I was freaking out. I was wondering what the heck I was doing and then you, you actually have to drag it to the move to screen button and then it brings up this where you can decide what screen you want to move it to and like you just drop it right on that and then it goes there but that makes arranging your icons a little bit difficult because um you can move it around on that page but then if you really and that's one thing that they it was very cool that they packaged in you can uh, I can drag it here and it'll move the icon for me so it's not like I you know have to pick up each individual one but instead of just going over one page if I drag it over it brings me to this again and it just it takes some getting used to but um I, I, I like it now but it's just awkward it's not what anyone's used to um it's not how I Android the stock launcher is, or HTC Sense, or Blur, or anything. But, um, the Go for Android team has done a really good job with this, and it's free. Um, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and recommend Go Launcher, but at least you saw all of the others, and if you don't like Go Launcher for some reason, um, you know that Launcher Pro Plus is a great alternative. Is I feel like Launcher Pro might be the most professional, maybe. ADW is kind of like a, uh, I don't know, ADW and Go are kind of similar, but I like, I just prefer Go, um, so yeah, that's, that's the review, I'll see you guys later.